Hey guys, Coach Rob coming at you from the garage gym once again. Hopefully these videos have been informative and they're helping you get through your home workouts. Uh, if you have any suggestions or things that you would like to see, please leave some comments below. I'd love to try and help. Let's go ahead and get started for today's workout. Today we're working for Friday, March 27th, 2020. We're gonna get started with a three round warm up. Our warm up is gonna consist of a one minute jogging in place exercise. Something that I would like to see from you guys is getting those knees up. Let's treat this jogging in place like we're doing high knees. Like when we're going across the gym and we want to really get those knees nice and high. All right, we're going to do that for one minute. So make sure that you start your watches. 10 lunges. We can do these in place as well. A couple of key things we're looking for in those lunges. Make sure that when we're coming down, we've got that 90 degree bend in the ankle. We've got that 90 degree in the knee and in the hip. So we step back and then alternate switch sides, just like such. So when we're going through, we're doing a total of 10, that'd be five per leg. So that's one, two, three, four. We're gonna do that all the way to 10. Make sure that when you're coming up out of that lunge that we're driving from the heel, engaging the hamstring, engaging the glute. Then we're gonna go into push-ups. All right, everybody knows push-ups, but just to run through it real quick, we come down, Place the hands directly underneath the shoulders. Make sure we're in a good uh, plank position. We're squeezing the core, squeeze the glutes. As we come down, we make sure that we take our chest to the ground and our elbows are back. And then we press up. Our body should move as one motion, just like such. We're gonna go through three rounds of this. So one minute jogging in place, 10 lunges, and five push-ups. Easy enough. All right, moving on. So we've got a couple of AMRAPs for you today. So let's go back over this again real quick. And AMRAP stands for what? As many rounds as possible, right? In this particular scenario, we're counting reps. So uh, what we're doing is for 10 minutes, we're gonna set those clocks. Remember we have that SmartWad app and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set that for a 10 minute timer. In the 10 minutes, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through a wall walk or three push-ups. We're gonna go through 10 squat jacks and 10 chair dips. So I'll walk through these movements with you and I got some stuff on the board I'd like to share. So the movement for the wall walk, all right? We'll show you a wall walk here real quick. We've all done wall walks in the gym before, but just a quick refresher. We're gonna start down on the floor like we're starting a push up. And as we come up, we're just gonna bring our feet up and we're gonna walk ourselves back until we're flat up against the wall completely. Then we walk ourselves back out. That's a wall walk. So we'll do one of those or the, uh, the movement is a wall walk. The equipment necessary for doing that particular movement is just an empty wall space. Here I'm using the cabinets in the garage. Uh, you can use anywhere that you can get up on the wall and not have anything disrupting that you're going to knock down. Now the scaling version for a wall walk, if you're not quite there or not comfortable doing it, or just don't have a, an empty wall to do it on, is a pike push-up. Now you can scale to a regular push-up, but it's still not gonna work your shoulders the way that we'd like to see with the wall walk. So a couple of key things when it comes to the pike push-up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start by just bending over and we're gonna walk out just a little bit so that we're in a nice pike position. When we come down into that pike, we want those elbows to come back and we want our head to be in front of our hands. And then we're gonna press up and through. This is gonna do a couple of things for you, okay? This is gonna get you prepared for doing handstands, handstand holds, and handstand push-ups. Just like that. So, if you'll notice as I come down, my head is in front of my hands and I'm forming a triangle. And then I push back and I go right back on through the window and bring my head through my arms. That is going to be the scaled version for the wall walk, okay? Next movement that we have here is going to be 10 jack squats. So a jack squat, it's a jumping jack, okay? But we're squatting while we're doing it. So if we're in the squat position here, just like this, we're staying down in that squatted position, doing those, moving the knees in, moving the knees out in the squatted position the entire time. And then we've got chair dips. Now, with dips, we can do this a couple of different ways. We can use a chair, 
we can use a bench, we can use an ice chest. You can use anything that you have available to you. So, and this is, I have a box that's right here. So I could come up against this box, I bring my feet out, I come down, and I press up. To scale this, the more I bring my feet in, the more assistance I can get with my legs. The further I bring my feet out, the more body weight I'm supporting on my arms as I press back and forth. So if you don't have a box, I've got a stool. We can use just a regular bar stool as we come through. So we lean on this, we come down, we press up. We come down, we press up. Or you could even take it to the floor. We can go in a position to where we seat on the floor like this, and we go ahead and we pick ourselves up, and we just press. As simple as that. We can, this has got uh, a million different ways to scale it. The whole idea that we're looking for is that tricep press. Now, another way that we can go about doing this if you're not comfortable with doing the press is we can just do a tricep extension. So you can grab a weight, you, a dumbbell, a kettlebell, anything that's got any kind of weight to it. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lift that overhead, we're gonna bring it down, and we're gonna press it up. Just like this. So if you have a dumbbell, you can use it that way. If you have a kettlebell, same difference. Let's press. We're working the tricep either way. That's what you're looking at doing. Next, we're gonna move into, oh, well, okay. So that was a 10 minute AMRAP. So we're gonna go through that wall walk, we're gonna go through those 10 squat jacks, and we're gonna go through 10 chair dips. And that's just using body weight, if we're gonna do that. If you have weights, and you wanna step it up a notch, we can do the weighted version of it. So this is going to consist of, for the 10 minute AMRAP, of one wall walk, seven front rack dumbbell or weighted squats, and seven chair dips with a weight on the hips. So, just like before, we have the wall walk. You saw as we walked up the wall, seven front rack dumbbell, kettlebell, or weighted squat jacks. We can use a lot of different things. So we have the movement, it's the front rack weighted squat jacks, right? We can use everything and anything that we can find to hold on to in the front rack position. If we have a wall ball, we have it here. We're just holding and supporting the weight in the front rack position. You can do that with some dumbbells. Same thing, elbows up. Here we are, we come down into a squat, we go wide, we go narrow. We go wide, we go narrow. But you wanna stay in that squat position the entire time. If you have a sandbag, you can use a sandbag. If you have a backpack, you can use a backpack. Just put some weight in it. If you have a weighted vest, and access to one of those, that's probably the easiest way to go about it because it's just gonna be secure. Same with the backpack. Throw the backpack on. You can get that knocked out. Uh, going into the dips. All right, so if we're gonna weight our dips, I got a bench here. I'm gonna go ahead and use this bench. And let's grab this dumbbell right here. We just come over this way. We place it on our hip, our, on our waist. And as we come down, we press up. Just like such. And again, the further you bring your feet out, the more you're supporting that weight. Okay, moving on from there. After we're done with that, our 10 minutes is up, we move into the next workout. And we've got a Metcon that's another AMRAP, but this is a five minutes of max effort. So really what this means is we're going all out and we're doing as many reps as we can of a weighted sit up to standing. Now, this can get a little bit tricky, so I definitely wanna show you what's going on here. Now, let's grab a weight. We can use anything that we want when it comes to using a weight, but for a weighted sit up, there's a couple of key things that we're looking for, okay? We wanna keep that weight up high on the chest, okay? So as we come back, shoulders are on the floor. A weighted sit up, all we have to do is just sit up and break that vertical plane. But when we're going for the stand up, what we're looking for is we're gonna use that weight to our advantage. So as we come through, we're gonna go forward and we're gonna put that weight forward. And then we're gonna stand back up, sit down, up. There we go. 
that's going to use as a counterbalance so that you can stand up after that sit up. Now I used a dumbbell, but you can use anything that's got any kind of weight. You can use a plate, you can use a kettlebell, you can use your weighted bag, you can use your vest, you can use uh, pretty much anything that's got some weight to it that you can hang on to and hold at your chest for the sit up. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna do five minutes of max effort weighted sit ups. You're gonna count those reps and that's what you're gonna score in Wattify. Moving on from there, we are going into another Metcon. It's only three minutes long, it's an AMRAP, but these are cleans. Now I want everybody to notice it says cleans. It does not say power. It says clean. And when there's no power, what does that mean? You guessed it, full squat. We're going down. We're going downtown, down to the floor. So as we're doing these cleans, we can use all kinds of equipment for the cleans. We can use a barbell, we can use a sandbag, a weighted vest, a weighted pack, dumbbells, kettlebells, plates, wall balls, you name it, doesn't matter. Let's grab a wall ball. All right, so as we go through four our cleans, what we're gonna do, we're gonna come down, we're gonna grab that wall ball, we're gonna stand it up, we're gonna come all the way down, and then we're gonna stand it up, back down. You can use some dumbbells. All right, so we come down, full cleans. We're going down to the floor, guys, full cleans. So, scaling options for these exercises here with a full clean, obviously is going to be a power clean, all right? So, I would rather see you go all the way to the floor, lessen the load, go a little bit lighter weight, and let's get that full range of motion in that squat, but, if squatting is a little bit difficult and then you don't have that range of motion quite yet, we go to the power clean and the definition of power is getting as much squat as needed to get under the weight when you pick it up off the floor and turn it over. So a power clean with a medicine ball would look like such. A full clean down to the floor. That's pretty much it. That's what I got for you guys today. Uh, again, if you have any questions, go ahead, comment below. I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. Like before, this is going on to the YouTube channel, so if somebody needs it, let me know. I'll send them the link. Until then, have fun. This is Max Effort, short AMRAPs. Let's go get it. Talk to you later.